Hello crazy people, I am talking to you today because I am also crazy and here's what we will do. <laughs> I have decided that even though I've got a lot going on this year and especially this term and especially in the time before Christmas, I will be doing NaNoWriMo and I also want to do more than 50k because because it's me, you know, it's me. This tea has been standing here for two days. I should probably not have drunk that. First of all, why am I doing it? I have been doing nano for a while and uh, I really enjoy it. It's definitely not always been good for my mental health, but overall it's a positive experience. I have had quite a bad or at least weird time mentally because I've been doing a lot of overachieving, especially in 2015, beginning of 2016, that kind of time span. And that was followed by an intensive burnout period where I didn't write at all and didn't participate in the events for about a year. But I have learned to be a bit more chill about it. I still have problems with that and I'm definitely going to be having trouble with that this coming month because I do want to overachieve but I also am kind of overachieving in my life in general already so it's going to be hard to even fit a bit of writing in. That's why I have decided that if I only get 50k I'm totally happy with that. I will be shooting for a double nano which is 100. Yes, 2 times 50 is indeed 100. I can definitely do that. I shot for 100 last year and I got 150, I think. See, there would have been a time where I knew literally all the digits of all of my nano wins by heart because I was so obsessed with the numbers. So, while normal people might just call me forgetful right now, I think I'm making progress. Mother knows best to listen to your mother. It's a scary world out there. Mother knows best, one way or another, something will go wrong, I swear. So last year I wrote 150,051 words, which is a nice number, you know. And uh, the year before that, I was burned out, right? The year before that, oh this is the year, this is 2015, I wrote five hundred thousand and fifteen words so we're not gonna be doing that let's talk a bit about the projects I'll be doing why do I keep pricking it I'm gonna die because of this kind of obsessive need to just drink stuff that's in front of me literally if you put poison in front of me I drink that in like 30 minutes flat just because I need to drink something in order to be a bit more kind to myself, I've decided that I will be counting blog posts towards my nano word count. That's going to be a first for me because normally I don't count any of that. I have never counted planning, I have never counted, you know, any kind of forum posting, blog posts, literally none of that, diary entries, everything you could think of, I have not counted. I've literally only counted words spent on a story. And that's cool and everything, but I can't do that and also overachieve this year. And I feel like blog posts, at least the way I do them, are definitely a creative writing outlet. I'm gonna be planning my schedule for November and probably also December and just try to obviously write all of the November posts and I'd be super happy if I also got a chunk of December done. That would be cool. I'm kind of I also do have some more creative writing projects lined up. There's the story which I've been writing for like two months now and I'm only 5k in because life has just been really busy. And I'm writing all those damn blog posts. So this new story is basically a dystopian setting, kind of fantasy-ish elements. It is definitely inspired by Worm, like I can definitely tell that I start writing that at a time where I finished one about I think six weeks prior to that. 
And I think if you read Worm and then you also read what I've written, you'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. Like, it's not the writing style, it's not the characters, it's just this basic idea of everyone has a different fantasy power. I've handled it a bit differently because pretty much all of the characters just live in this weird wasteland setting. And there's also a queen who's called the Over Queen. And I, I wrote that name in all sincerity and then like a week later I realized the Over Queen is a character from that one stock at musical we won't talk about. It seems to have infested my story. There's one character, Amber, who's kinda like kinda in love with her best friend, maybe not, we will see. She has a power that is basically connected to inner demons. And the way she uses that power is simply she just walks through shadows and that kind of... It's kind of like Shadow Stalker, but really not. Like, hear me out, hear me out here because it's different, okay? It's not at all like that. Like, she, she's able to walk great distances through the dark world. And that is what we see of her power. But it is then later revealed that she actually... Like, this is one subset of a power, but the actual power is way more aggressive because it's kind of like letting these inner demons out and just go on a rampage and kill everyone. So that's her, and then uh, her friend, Rose, whose name is Hunter of Wind, because they all have really cool names. She's just a fast runner and a messenger and all that kind of jazz. And then this other character, the Over Queen. She basically uh, gets sent to this wasteland, which is the former city of the royal house because her sister revealed to her parents that she has powers. The thing is the sister herself also has powers, but the sister is like really evil and we don't talk about her. Uh, but yeah, basically having powers goes back to a specific event that happened in the city and everyone who didn't either fled the city or got killed by the people who had powers, so it just is this wasteland scenario now. But the Overqueen gets sent there because her family discovers that she has powers and therefore she can't be the next ruling monarch. She is by definition the next ruling queen, like there's a very complicated will left behind by one of her ancestors, I guess. That means she can't just be dethroned, so they're basically trying to kill her off without actively killing her. And then all of these characters have a thing going on. There's going to be a lot of intriguing mysteries. Uh, there's this council of six? Six people who are all very powerful and one of them, Crown of Blood, trades in secrets and she knows Amber's secrets. So there's a, like a mentor-pupil relationship developing there. Which I'm very happy with because I love Crown of Blood, she's such a cool character. Like, she's so badass. And you really don't need to know all of that, I'm sorry for rambling about it for so long. But like, I'm just, I'm really into the story. So I'm gonna do that during Nano. However, my main project, which is also what it says on my Nano page, is A Sea of Many Isles. This was my Camp July planning project. I did a world building project for a nano event for the first time, which I'm really excited about because I don't normally do that. So like, pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty cool. It's a huge, huge fantasy project, which is why I'm planning to release it as a web serial and I'm definitely not going to be finishing it. There is a couple of main characters. These are basically, these are the main ones and you can't see them because there's post-it notes on them, but let's just Let's just pretend I plan it like that, so the intrigue is bigger, you know. Basically, this character, Elia, wakes up without memories and she then goes on a journey to discover a lot of things about her past. <laughs> the world is as follows, it's a sea and there's many isles in it. And there is a huge god pantheon and every isle is dedicated to one specific god, so every god has an island. And on that island, the people there have a specific kind of magic that probably a scientific explanation would be it's because of a certain force signature that just happens to be around that specific island. But the way it's explained in the story, because all these people obviously believe in the gods, is like the god granted that island that power. 
However, there's also elemental things going on. So basically there's six elements and your specific power will vary depending on your element. However, you can't choose your element because you're born with your element. And the elements go back to an older god pantheon that was dethroned by this new pantheon we have now. And those were basically just the six elements. But wait a second, because the leader of the new pantheon was also in the old pantheon and wouldn't we know it, there was also a god called Elia in that old pantheon? D don't know what happened to Elia? Can't be the same though, because that Elia was a male, so like... I've imagined this as all the characters being POC, so it's just, it's a part of this fantasy world where there's no white characters, because where would they come from, you know, because it's all islands and they're shut up from the main body of land. So, you know. But then I thought it would be a cool thing to have like the final villain be this huge army of white Christian colonizers who gather at the edge of the ocean and try to colonize the islands and then they get their asses beat. I think that would be fun. I think I would like to write that. I think some people would be very upset with me for that. But honestly, fuck them. <laughs> I think I've now developed to a point where I know exactly what I want to see in fiction and it happens to be a niche that doesn't really have that much content in it yet so I'm happy to write it. However, there is some time constraints here. While I'm happy to write it, I don't get paid to write it and I won't be getting paid for it in the near future because let's be real. <laughs> Writer is about as good as a job as musician, only I don't study being a writer. So like... Should I be focusing on it? Probably not. And I will leave you with a bit of footage of me setting out my spreads and all that good nice shit. Someone just walked past the window and I'm very uncomfortable. I think he's gonna walk back and I'm gonna pretend to be busy. Oh no, someone caught me. Is he gonna be back? Maybe he's not. I should just continue, like, whatever, you know. We live opposite of a prostitute. I think I can't really shock people more than that.